What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. First time campers, this video is for you. Come back and watch. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Minton Outdoors. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome to the channel. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that share button and uh, help this channel grow. This video is for you if you're a first time camper. So pay attention and uh, if you have any questions, please ask at the end. All right, so first time campers. So you're sitting around during the holidays or something and y'all started discussing about going camping for the first time. Maybe parent did it as a kid, you know, or you decide you want to take your family for the first camping trip. So, First off, my first piece of advice on camping the first time is keep it pretty close to home. Uh, find a good state park or a national park if you live close to one to go to for your first camping trip. Something that's close. That way, if the thing backfires altogether, it's not going to take so long to get home. You plan a 200-mile or 300-mile trip just one way to get to a camping trip, that could be a bad time. So keep it close to home. Find a good state park and... and Go camping there for a weekend. The next tip is always keep an eye on the weather before you go. Say you look at the forecast and it may rain the Saturday night or the Friday night when you get there. Plan for that. Have the proper shelters for that. And you'll survive it. It won't be a problem. As long as you have planned for the weather, you will be okay. You may get a little bit wet, but as long as you don't drown, you're doing good. So... Plan for the weather. You can't stop it, but you can plan for it. Cooking for your first camping trip. I want to give you something, one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you. It's called KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. I'm not saying you're stupid. But what I am saying is when you're cooking for the first time in the outdoors, it's way different than cooking at home. Sometimes you can't control the heat. Sometimes you can't control how fast things cook. So you have to take it simple. Keep, when I say keep it simple, you know, hamburgers, hot dogs for supper, ham sandwiches or something for lunch. Keep breakfast kind of simple. Once you've got a few under your belt, then you can start getting and start um, doing more expensive or extensive cooking. You know, you'll learn about cast iron. You'll learn about uh, Dutch ovens and how you can cook in them and things down the road. But for now, keep it kind of simple. That way you don't, you know, bad food on a camping trip makes the whole camping trip bad. If you buy new or you're borrowing somebody's camping gear, please, for all that's holy, set it up before you go. Know how to set it up when you go. I always suggest this to everybody when you buy a new tent, especially if you buy something brand new, set it up, make sure it works. That way when you get on the camping trip, it doesn't fail then. It fails at home before you go and you know, well, I got to go get, to get a new one. When you get that new one, test it out first. Especially tents, especially stoves, test them out before you go. I always suggest the weekend before, run through your gear, make sure everything's good to go. Because nothing worse than getting, to, getting on a camping trip and something faulty happens with your gear. And then you're in a mess. Okay, are you taking the kids? Cool. I highly recommend taking the kids with you camping. Kids are so resilient when you get get them in the outdoors. I don't. I've seen kids running around below zero weather, like it's summertime. They're having fun. They're outside. Take them. Get make them leave the electronics at home. Make them leave all that stuff at home. But plan activities around the kids too, because that's what's going to make them want to come back for more. Do fun things with them. And also, get them involved in the chores. Get them involved in gathering wood for fires. Helping cook. You know, they, they make great plate setters. Help, let them help set the picnic table. But get them involved. Have things to do. And there you go. Keep them entertained is the main thing. I'll give you an instance on um, Chloe's first camping trip. I took my laptop with me. And we watched a movie by the campfire the first night she went camping. 
she thought it was so much fun to sit there by the open campfire and watch a movie and with dad especially so get them involved keep it entertaining for them or they're going to lose interest all right so the last little bit is going to be thoughts especially for you new campers dogs pets if you take them with you fine that's fine i highly recommend not taking cats i do highly recommend taking your dog with you now you know your dog as well as uh, more than anybody so you know how your dog's going to act around people especially other people especially kids running around especially other pets running around i will say this if you have a yappy dog that yaps at home all the time please leave that dog with a friend or somebody else because i don't take animals with me i don't have any pets um just a thing of ours but if i was to take a dog if i had a dog and he was a yappy dog i'd leave him at home too because there's nothing worse than somebody going camping and taking a yappy dog that's barking the whole time you're camping and you hear that instead of hearing the birds chirping or the deer walking through or anything of that nature. So um, I imagine I would speak for all the other campers in the world. If you have a yappy dog, leave it at home. If you have a nice dog, cool dog, bring it on. Um, my next thing is going to be quiet time and early risers. At night, usually parks have their set times of quiet time. And it's usually around 10 o'clock or so. And they say that's quiet time. They say that's when, you know, everybody gets quiet. So that means if you're going to be um, partaking in adult beverages and you can't handle it, then maybe you don't need to partake in adult beverages camping because that means, you know, you're going to get kind of silly out in the woods and you don't need to do that, especially in a state park, national park. That's, that's no way no. Um, but quiet time is quiet time. Respect everybody else out there. And that goes for early risers. Now, I'm an early riser. I'll get up. I'll fix a cup of coffee. I'll build a fire. And I'll sit there and watch. Sometimes I'll watch the sun come up, video it, take pictures of it, whatever. But I'm mindful there's people still sleeping in the campgrounds. And some people can sleep late in campgrounds give them that peace and quiet be kind to the other campers and then the very last thing i want to throw out there is probably the most important thing you can do when you go in the woods or go camping for your first camping trip is keep it clean and leave no trace keep your footprint small keep it to your campsite don't you know don't try to see how big you can make your campsite Stay in that footprint of that campsite. There's a reason for that, so you're not ruining more of the wilderness. But keeping your trash picked up and thrown away. And, and if you get there and there's trash on the ground, pick it up. Don't complain about it. Pick it up. It's the last guy that left it is the ding-dong that left it. Don't be that ding-dong. Pick up your trash. Pick up if you accidentally, if you see trash laying on the ground, pick it up. Leave no trace. Make sure nobody else knows you've been there. That's the main things when it comes to camping. So in summary, what I want to, one thing I want to say is please, if you have any questions to anything I said down below, if you have any gear advice, please type it in down below. There are plenty of guys that follow me that if I don't answer it, they may answer it. If I don't have the answers, they'll have the answers. But I want you to have a good time. I want you to enjoy camping. I uh, want you to get out with your family. That is awesome. That is great. Um, all three of my kids have camped with me over the years. And my oldest son, uh, my only son, he, he he's wanting to go camping now. And he's twenty, about to be 22 years old. He wants to go camping with dad. So we're going camping this year. But, you know, it, la it puts in a lasting impression on children. And I think it's one of the better bonding experiences you can have outside of some other things in life but one of one of the major ones so have a good time and uh well be prepared